Hey, book club. Dan here from One Bam Book Club. Uh, I was thinking I haven't done enough John Scalzi books for you guys, and so I thought I'd do a John Scalzi book review for you today, and I'm going to start with one of his non-traditional books. Uh, it's called Fuzzy Nation. Now, if you don't know John Scalzi, in my opinion, he's the king of modern science fiction. I'm always, always impressed by him. Um, and I always expect to be impressed, but I actually would never expect to tear up, laugh out loud, stand up and cheer at the end of a Scalzi book. But, surprise to me, all of those things happened by the end of Fuzzy Nation. It's a reboot of a 1963 Hugo nominee uh, called, the, called Little Fuzzy. It's by a guy named H. Beam Piper, who despite having a really cool name, I had actually never heard of. Fuzzy Nation has a 60s science fiction vibe. But thanks to Scalzi's updated characters in science, it comes across very modern and very awesome. In the far off future, corporations can buy the rights to excavate and exploit the resources of distant planets. As long as there's no sentient life on the planet, Zara Corp, who owns the rights to excavate and explore on Zara 23, they're particularly thrilled that an obscenely large source of the universe's most rare and valuable mineral was just discovered there. Now, of course, on the same day that uh, they make their discovery, the lead prospector who discovered it also discovers the fuzzies. Now think like, I don't know, bipedal, bipedal cats or like, think like Ewoks probably. Uh, think like Ewoks that um, they don't look demonic or creepy. They're, they're just irresistibly cute. They're oddly curious and they're strangely intelligent. Are they animals? Surely the fuzzies can't be sentient because that would mean that Zara Corp would lose out on trillions of, you know, future dollars. And it would also, of course, make for a really clever and cool a uh, sci-fi courtroom drama where the evil corporation fights against the heroic fuzzy lovers over the definition of what makes a person a person. And that's what Fuzzy Nation is. And I loved it. Now, I'm sure there's some deeper political or tree hugger themes in there. I didn't really care. I loved the drama. I loved the characters. I loved the world. I loved the fuzzies. And I loved the ending. Scalzi's known for having a potty mouth, but this one is actually quite tame. There's a little bit of language, so I'd recommend this for probably 14 and up. Also, it's less science fiction and more courtroom drama. Apparently John Grisham better watch out because man, John Scalzi can even, even write a courtroom drama. Uh, anyway, I loved uh, Fuzzy Nation. John Scalzi's an amazing author. I think you'll enjoy checking him out if you haven't. Fuzzy Nation is a unique place to start and I highly recommend Fuzzy Nation. Happy reading everyone.